Well, the weather's getting nicer. Uh, it's real decent temperature here in Texas today. And I'm getting back to work on the 63 Chevrolet Impala, provided I can take more time off. Um, I did some adding up on this car to see if I was able to get it running and driving with spending $500 or less. And I did manage to make it <laughs> with uh, off of $470. One expense that I didn't factor in was a $150 gas tank. And the main reason why I bought that was is so that I wouldn't have to be pulling the carburetor on and off again, over and over again, getting trash out of the carburetor. Uh, the gas tank that I took off of this car was perfectly fine. Uh, but anyway, once again, I've had to pull this carburetor off and clean it out. I have blown through the fuel line and did all kinds of things and it's got that new gas tank on it but still it start, sucked up some trash and started running bad so carburetor still has that tag on it which is a good thing I don't know what we ever use them for I like working on these older cars they're so much simpler and everything makes sense it takes about five minutes to pull the carburetor off and another ten minutes to clean it out but it's still just a pain in the butt to do it I remember a long time ago back whenever I was buying and selling junk cars and driving the dinosaur. I once went to this place and bought a bunch of old cars and they had a bunch of car parts and one of the things they had that's proved to be worth its weight in gold is a bunch of these old quickie carburetor rebuild kits. They had boxes of them. I wish I'd gotten every box. I got a bunch of them but I had to use some of the parts on this thing. But. I need to replace the trailing arm bushings on the car, on the rear, the control arms. And I went to my local auto parts store today and they all of them looked at me like I was an idiot. I kind of feel like they have them on the shelf, but getting them to find the part number and get them to me is another, proved to be another thing. Yesterday I took the car down and I had the front end aligned. And it drives quite a bit better, but it still has a little bit of road wonder. And I think that that is from those rear trailing arm bushings. But as soon as I get those, I'll put those in and hopefully soon I can get on to replacing the floorboards in this car, the, the one underneath the back seat and some of that metal in the trunk. I don't know how much metal I will replace. That's what's next on the agenda provided, I, like I said, I get the time off from work. But I'm glad to at least be able to make this video. Yeah, I still got it and I'm still working on it. Just can't wait to finish it. That old 64 Chevy Impala, I had it painted and looking good within one year after buying it but of course this one's requiring a little bit extra work that the 64 didn't but hopefully i'm not too far off of a year and getting this car looking good